As Yellowstone fans, we know Kelsey Asbill as Monica Dutton, a Native American woman who got married to Casey Dutton. For five long seasons, we watched Monica's romance with Casey, how she struggles to fit in with the Duttons, and her attempts to preserve her Native American heritage and traditions. On the surface level, this has been one of the best parts of the show as it is rare to see an American TV show with a Native American main character. Yellowstone was going even beyond that and actively bringing some concerns of modern Native Americans to the agenda. It was highlighted multiple times that the land originally belonged to the Native Americans, not the Duttons, which was very remarkable. That being said, once you get a bit deeper, you realize that there are actually quite a few issues regarding the representation of indigenous people in Yellowstone. The biggest one of which is the casting of Kelsey as Bill herself, as her Native American heritage is questionable, to say the least. Kelsey has been in the show business way before Yellowstone. She made her television debut with a guest starring role in the Disney Channel series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody in 2005. One of her notable early roles was playing Gigi Silvery on the TV series One Tree Hill. She also appeared in shows like Teen Wolf and Embeds. In addition to her television work, Asbill has been involved in films. She played a significant role in 2017 film Wind River, which brought attention to her acting skills. The movie also introduced her to Taylor Sheridan, as he was the director of Wind River. So Kelsey's Yellowstone journey has begun and made her an instant household name. In the show, she plays a character who is a Native American and lifelong resident of Broken Rock Indian Reservation. As you can imagine, her casting in this role prompted inquiries into her background. A report from the New York Times questioning Hollywood's casting decisions for indigenous roles revealed that Asbill has Taiwanese, British, and Eastern band Cherokee descent. Yes, you heard it right. She has no Native American heritage whatsoever and yet still got the part. Despite not being raised in the indigenous community, Kelsey claimed to have an intense connection to her Native American character in Wind River, asserting that this role, more than any other, is in my blood. I mean, is it just me or is it ridiculous to claim something is in your blood just because you were miscast in a movie for that particular part? As you can imagine, Native American actors pointed out the unfairness of the situation for years, but their complaints did not change anything. Of course, Kelsey should not be the only one that is to be blamed for such casting. After all, Sheridan is the one who cast her for a Native American role not once but twice. The interesting thing is that Sheridan is vocally proud of his representation of Native American characters on the show. He even claimed that thanks to his efforts of representing indigenous people in Yellowstone, some laws that were threatening the Native American lifestyle have changed. While this claim has been challenged by Native American people later on, as they question Sheridan's presumed impact on indigenous life. Besides, critics argue that the portrayal of Native American characters in Yellowstone lacks authenticity. From dialogue to cultural practices, there are concerns that the representation is not accurate and may contribute to misunderstandings or misinterpretations of indigenous cultures. Some also argue that the show relies on stereotypes when depicting Native American characters and communities. This includes common tropes related to alcoholism, poverty, and violence, which can perpetuate harmful stereotypes rather than provide nuanced and accurate representations. There are also concerns about cultural appropriation when non-Indigenous individuals are involved in storytelling about Native American experiences. This can contribute to a shallow or insensitive portrayal of Native cultures. One of the latest criticisms came from the Killers of the Flower Moon star Lily Gladstone, as she called the Native American portrayal on the show delusional, deplorable. But what do you think? Do you think Kelsey Asbill is the right choice for the character of Monica? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.